at first I just thought some nutcase down the street, right? But but generally, like when I roll it out front to do some work on it, I start that what first starts trickling in is all the kids, all the neighborhood kids come out there and they, they think it's pretty awesome. And then one by one, the neighbors have all been over there and they all think it's pretty cool stuff. Uh, haven't had any real anybody come over uptight about it. You know, I'm not playing with any nasty stuff over here, so it's all mechanical and hardware. For me, the project started somewhere around 79 or 80, and it's just been a lifetime pursuit. Uh, this particular prototype started around 2003. And uh, we've got the remnants of the first prototype, the first full-scale prototype in the backyard, and it's actually bigger than this one, but in the dot-com dot crash, the money kind of dried up, so we had to bag that one a step back to the small version. This is the prototype that we'll use to do all of our flight testing and, and kind of a dress rehearsal to see what did and didn't work and what design changes we might need to make and to make sure everything fits the way it's supposed to fit. <clears throat> We've figured out enough on this thing where the next one will be, it'll seat two more people, total of six, and uh, it, it'll be basically the same craft, uh, a little more rounded on the top, but it's probably quite the same craft. The eventual goal is to be able to put anybody into space who wants to go into space, you know, at a reasonable cost. So our belief is that anybody should be able to do it if they want to, and uh, that's what we're here for. All told, I mean, it, people come and go, they have day jobs, families, it's all volunteer at this point. Uh, generally, at any given time, there's anywhere between 10 and 20 people involved. Uh, there's probably five or six of us that are core, and out of that, there's about four of us that are out here pretty routinely on, on a two, three times a week working on it.